And the second topic for today is going to be how to improve outside of tournaments. Because yes, obviously playing the game, blah blah blah, will improve your game. Uh, but it's actually a lot of things you can do outside of the game to help you become a better player and a better competitor for sure. Uh, and I was gonna, I'm gonna list three things that I would say is very important. Obviously, it's more stuff out there. Some stuff might be more important for you than for me and vice versa. We're human beings, we're all different. So we don't learn exactly the same, but at the very least, I feel like these three things are gonna be important. Um, and one of the things I would say is uh, do things that test your patience. And this could literally be anything. Anything that tests your patience uh, could be used very, very uh, well in Smash. Uh, I've, I've had people many days uh, in my life ask me how I'm so patient, and I guess it could come from many reason, uh, reasons. Like even outside of Melee, if I play games, uh, I've always just, like step by step, I've tried to be more patient. Uh, if I'm communicating with people, and you know some people they might not be as straight to the point they might need a little bit more time and you can often see that some people uh, when they talk to people that need more time they can start to get impatient like oh get to the point and for me it's always been like or not always but like for a long time at least I've always been like where's your patience like this person might need a little bit more time that's nothing wrong with that but especially at this time and age People have no patience whatsoever. They always want everything right away, like one second. Uh, but I often try to look at it this way, like treat others the way you want to be treated yourself. And all of us need a little bit of patience from, you know, our fellow uh, human beings once in a while. So do anything that you feel will test your patience. And no one start off with the best patients in the world. That's not how it works. But if you can push yourself a tiny bit more uh, every time, then all, that's all we can ask for. That's all we can ask for. Uh, so yeah, that's that's really gonna be important. Because in Melee, sometimes you need patience. That's how it is. And you can see some players, they lack patience so much. And they lose matches, and they only blame their opponents for being uh, hella boring. Their opponent might be boring, but if you have no patience whatsoever, you are the reason you are losing, for sure. So try to practice your patience. It's good. It can be very necessary uh, in so many aspects of life. Trust me. I was working as a teacher a while, uh, a while back, and if you don't have any patience working as a teacher, then good luck. Uh, your life is gonna be so much worse. I can I can guarantee you that. Uh, another thing I would say is extremely important is uh, meditation, uh, especially if you have a hard time to keep your emotions in check. Because as a competitor, everything that you do at home it might not be exactly the same at tournaments. Uh, at tournaments, it's very common that people feel stressed. It's very common that people uh, get mad or tired, frustrated. It's so many things that could make your emotions run into a state where you don't feel like it's very good. Uh, I've experienced this myself in the past. Uh, a lot of people probably at this moment uh, think about the fairly famous meditation four stock I did against Laffin. Uh, at that tournament, I was actually one of the one of the TOs, not the main TO, but uh, I was doing a lot of work that tournament. So that entire weekend was literally a pain in the ass. It was so much stress, making sure that the tournament was going to be run on time, and I was competing at the same time, and it was just so much stuff to do and so little time. So in that moment, I still felt like very stressed, not only about the tournament itself, it was just like it's been so many things going on this weekend that I never really got a chance to clear my head. And I was down 1-2 against Leffen in Grand Finals and 
I was one game away from losing the entire tournament. And I was like, all right, I just need to calm down, take it easy. Like, this is literally my last chance. This is my last chance. Uh, so I closed my eyes. Uh, I was taking a few deep breaths. And I tried to first picture myself at a place where I can be more calm and relaxed outside of all the pressure, uh, expectations from everyone and all of that. And then after that, I tried to picture myself uh, standing on stage and winning the tournament, holding a trophy or something like that. Uh, which is actually a pretty, uh, pretty uh, common, uh, common concept for other uh, competitors that if you if you in your head can visualize yourself achieving something hard then the task becomes easier pretty much and then after this and also yeah at one point I forgot to mention that uh, at one point as well uh, I also started to think oh like uh, I started to think about the things I did wrong and what I could do to correct that that's also one of the earlier things I did during this meditation uh, section uh, but yeah, uh, after I meditated, I felt more relaxed, I felt more calmed down. I actually felt like I started to regain some energy as well. Uh, and I don't think the meditation alone is what made the Forsak happen, but I feel like it was a huge reason at the very least. Uh, and we've seen other uh, players meditate in the past as well, like PPMD. Uh, so meditation can be extremely good. And even more so if you're a person that very easily get frustrated, um, I can clearly recommend uh, meditation. And the last thing I would like to uh, bring up as well is if you feel good in your outside life, outside of melee, you will improve more, you will feel better. And this, this one might seem obvious or whatever, but I feel like it doesn't get... Uh, how do you say, talked about enough. When everyone talks about improve, improving, they always talk about in-game stuff. And in-game stuff is important, but if you feel, feel miserable as a person, it's just gonna be so much harder to go through the grind. Uh, sometimes it can be better to play a bit less and working on yourself as a human being, make sure that you feel good. Uh, and then when you do practice, it's gonna feel so much easier. Uh, myself, I actually went through uh, depression in 2014 and playing melee during that year was much harder for that reason. So I learned I learned a lot of life lessons uh, that year, I feel, even though it was a rough year. And during periods of time when I took a step back and tried to like feel better as a human being, I could see signs of me going in the right direction. So. Yeah, I'll clearly say that if you feel good, uh, you will improve more, you will find the game more fun, and all of that. So, don't push it too much if you're doing bad, uh, because then you probably should try to uh, fix real life stuff if you wanna, if you wanna put it that way. So yeah, I would say these three things extremely important, and if you do all three of them, you will probably see some progress in the game uh, that at least that's what I hope but you will at the very least uh, come out as a better human being I would say in many ways it will make your life easier at the very least so hope all of you guys uh, enjoy these advices 